Hey guys, it's Bacon Lover 935 with um with a video today. And I've been uploading about a month, so I'm gonna upload now and do a video or a vlog. I'm in Edmonton currently, so um I went to the West Edmonton Mall today, all day today. So I'm gonna be just showing you guys what I did and what I bought and uh just what I did there. So um I went to Champs, which is like store i got some champion shorts it's like a salmon color they're they're like basketball shorts style so it's just like really just loose comfortable fitting shorts and uh they i like the band it looks really good it's like stripe and uh yeah there's the the champion logo is on the on like the bottom of the shorts like like right here just like on the bottom on both sides yeah, it's like a salmon pink color. It's really, it's really, um, it looks good. So, this was about fifty, fifty-five dollars. Um, now the main thing I was gonna talk about today, which was really interesting that I did today, I went. There's actually a gun range in the mall at the very back of the mall. It's called the Wild West Shooting Range, and it's like pistol calibers only, cause you know it's kind of inside of a mall, so they they don't want to be shooting rifles in there. So yeah, I shot some pistols today, my first pistols I've ever shot, uh, first pistol calibers. I have the targets and the shells that I picked up here. So this is a 40 Smith & Weston. So, I don't think it's going to focus, but yeah, this is what the 40 Smith & Weston shell looks like. It's pretty, it's got, it's like a bit better than 9mm, it's like, here, just for a comparison, this is the 9mm versus the 40 cal it's basically just like a fatter shell I guess it's just like it has more gunpowder and it's like a little bit bigger projectile so uh, I also shot some yeah I have a couple more 9mm bullets in here just uh you know yeah it's 9mm is a good gun you know? it's like minimal recoil and it's easy to control and it's fun to shoot um, I also shot a, uh, what is this, it's 45 ACP right here, basically just bigger shell, the projectile is a little bigger, and it's, uh, yeah, it's bigger than, bigger than the 40 cal, it's got a bigger shell, it's about the same height, and, um, I also, I shot, those were, um, uh, like, semi-automatic revolvers, or not, um, not revolvers, handguns, so, this actually I was shooting out of, um, this is out of 1911, this was out of a, um, oh, I forget what it's called, it's like a Jewish pistol, it's like the Jericho or something, and it's like, it's a really good, it is really good handling, and it felt really good to shoot, I also shot a 44 Magnum today, which is one of the most powerful handgun cartridges in the world, and it was it was crazy. I have a video on my Instagram if you want to go watch that at at Frank the Monkey Four. It's all one word, and um yeah I got I also shot like some some rifles. They were nine millimeter rifles, so it was like I shot a Chris Vector uh, submachine gun, which was really awesome because it has like no recoil, and it's like my grouping was super tight with it because it's like so easy to shoot. Yeah, I shot this. This was, like, really crazy. Um, so I got the 44 Magnum. I also shot a 357 Magnum, which is, I think, the second most powerful handgun, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, here's the shell for it. It's it's actually, um, it was louder. It has the same projectile as, about the same projectile as the 44. Or about the same gunpowder as forty as the forty four, except the projectile is smaller, so it was way louder, and I felt more of a wind rush as I was shooting it. So, those were the guns I shot today, and actually I found this on the ground. If you guys know what this is, it looks like just a really mangled bullet, like just the tip, like you know the actual projectile, but it looks like it's like just a bullet. If you can see that, there it is. It, yeah, I can't believe I actually found this. I don't know how this got, like, on the floor. Like, this was behind the bays in the shooting range. 
like just a little bit behind it. And I don't, I don't understand how this ricocheted all the way from the, the, the um, like the, sh the where you actually shoot. I don't know if that's actually a bullet or it's just something else. And um, I'll show you the targets. This is, I think, which this is why I used the, I used the submachine guns with this. Um, I actually meant to shoot him in the face because that would have been just terrible accuracy. Here's my grouping for the target. It's pretty damn good, I'm not going to lie, because considering that I've never really shot pit never shot pistols before, um, there's there's a pretty good little group there and some accurate hits on the, on the aliens. Uh, here's my other target I used today. I have three total. This was... This was with the, the, the handguns, mostly. And, uh, yeah, the grouping's off a bit to the right a little bit, but it's still, still a pretty tight group, so... And I hit some in the center, so it's a pretty damn, damn okay group. Almost hit him in the crotch right here. I don't know how I got that carried away, but... Uh, now we got the last target, which I used for the 40 cal and the... Uh, 357 pretty damn good group once again my pistol accuracy got better as I um, kept going obviously not right here but like in the middle and a little bit off to the left so that got better and all these are all over the bed I'm just gonna put these in I literally have them in a cup so yeah I like collecting shells after I shoot a gun because you know it's just to have it but yeah, um, that's basically what I did today. Uh, we also bought this, some chips too. We we uh, went to like there was like a Chinese store, and there was like there's a an aquarium there that had a sea lion that was doing tricks and stuff, and uh, there's there's an amusement park in there. I didn't go on that yet, but I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow. And yeah, thanks for watching the video, and have a snazzy day.